Hey coach, in this video, we're gonna teach you how to set up the premium package of Huddle Sideline. With this setup, you get one angle from your end zone camera and another from your press box camera. Both will wirelessly send video to your recording iPad located in the press box. This device is used to control the entire system. With it, you'll create clips from the live video streams and tag ODK. From there, each clip will automatically broadcast to your viewing devices. Huddle Sideline creates a wireless connection between all of your hardware all across the field. This system creates two dedicated networks. All iPads and iPhones in the press box will connect to the press box access point, while devices on the field will connect to the sideline access point. The whole system is tied together via a wireless bridge. Before you get started, be sure to charge your battery for at least four to six hours. We recommend charging overnight before each game. You'll need two cameras and two compatible HDMI cords. That could mean it's micro HDMI or mini HDMI on one end, but it must be full HDMI on the other. You'll also need at least two iPads or iPhones. Huddle Sideline requires an iPhone 6, iPad Pro, Air 2, Mini 4, or newer. Before you get to the field, be sure to download the Huddle Sideline app and log in with your Huddle email and password. You'll need to do this while connected to Wi-Fi or a cellular connection. And if you already have the Huddle Sideline app, be sure to check the App Store for updates. First, let's set up your end zone kit. Start by turning on the battery labeled A. Press and hold the power button for two seconds and slide the AC switch on the front of the battery to the left. Next, power on the streaming kit labeled B by flipping the switch on the side of the kit to the right. Be sure to wait a few minutes for the Huddle logo to appear before continuing. Once you see the Huddle logo, power on your end zone camera and connect an HDMI cord to the camera input cord labeled C. If your end zone system uses a monitor, plug the HDMI output cord labeled D into the back of the monitor. Next, set up the tripod and attach the mounts. We recommend placing the mounts at 6 and 8 feet above the ground. Next, slide the sideline access point labeled E onto the top mount. Then slide the end zone bridge, labeled F, onto the bottom mount. Lastly, face the sideline access point toward your sideline viewing devices. And face the end zone bridge up toward the press box. Once you've set everything up, check to make sure that everything is functioning before moving on to the press box setup. Make sure that your camera is on, check for a ready symbol on the streaming kit screen, check for a red light on the front of the battery, Check for green lights on the top of the router, on the sideline access points, and on the end zone bridge. If all these are functioning, move on to the press box setup. First, plug the extension cord labeled G into power. Next, power on the streaming kit labeled H by flipping the switch on the side of the streaming kit to the right. Next, power on your press box camera and connect to the streaming kit via an HDMI cord. Next, Attach the press box bridge labeled I to the outside of your press box window. It's important that you face the press box bridge down toward the end zone bridge. Once you've set everything up, check to make sure that everything is functioning. Make sure that your camera is on, check for ready on the streaming kit screen, check for a blue light on top of the access point, and lastly, check for a green light on the back of the bridge. Before setting up your iPads and iPhones, it's important to remember that Huddle Sideline broadcasts two networks, a press box network and a sideline network. Your recording iPad or iPhone must be placed in the press box and connected to the press box network. This and any viewing devices in the press box must be placed within 15 feet of the press box access point. Any viewing devices located on the field should connect to the sideline access point. To connect your devices to the proper network, Navigate to the Wi-Fi settings on your device. Here, you should see a Huddle Press Box network and a Huddle Sideline network. On each device, choose the correct network based on where that device will be placed. You can find your team's unique network name and password in the lid of the end zone and press box kits. It's that easy to get up and running with Huddle Sideline. To learn more about recording and viewing with your iPad or iPhone, follow instructions in the app or watch more how-to videos online.